insane catch. Your mic's back, too. Right, sorry about that, folks, but uh, we are back up and running here. So, with uh, just under four minutes left to go in the first half, score is 16-6 in favor of the Saskatoon Hilltoppers. Ball currently on the 38-yard uh, line. Officials calling for a measure. So they'll run out here. And it's good enough for a first down. So Saskatoon will uh, move the chains here. So Jordan Walls. Calling out, goes to the ground. Big run by Saskatoon, number 19, or number 18, Joshua Enwin, Ewan China. Great job to push into Calgary territory. We haven't seen his number called yet in this game so far. And he uh, shows that he's able to pick, uh, take the ball, run it along the ground. Taking a look so far, he's only played in one game this season. One reception for six yards. I would think Saskatoon's looking. It's down. So Saskatoon will push into Calgary zone. It will be second and seven on the 43-yard line. Just under three minutes to play here in the first half. Jordan Walls goes back to work here. Trying to push for that first down. Three receivers to the near side. Hands it off again. And good job by Calgary to uh, pair up and make that tackle. So, Saskatoon will be forced to kick it away here. The kick will be coming from about the 55-yard uh, line. Calgary with uh, two men in the backfield. Yeah. 
So, I believe Calgary calls a timeout here. New coaching, or some of the new coaching staff trying to uh, organize the players and get a feel for what they're looking to do here. While we have a minute, we also want to thank the uh, Planet Planet Foods, the home of the Calgary Colts, the Edge School Performance, Edge 360, and John Harvstick and his team at McMahon Stadium. All of those, uh, play, or all those uh, stakeholders coming together to really uh, put this product on the field. So, Saskatoon will uh, kick it away here. Kick again coming from uh, just on the Calgary side of midfield. Calgary with a lone returner in the backfield. And he's targeted, picks it up at the 10-yard line, and taken down with a hard hit. Late flag thrown by the official in the backfield. But Saskatoon pinning Calgary deep here late in the first half. Seth. Saskatoon has a 10-point lead. Calgary Colts will take over deep in their own zone, trying to put a couple points on the board here. So Calgary taking an unnecessary roughness penalty and push back all the way back to their own end zone here. Ball placed on the one-yard line. Long field for... Bailey Wasdall to work with. Just over 2.30 left to go. Wasdall with uh, empties the backfield. Going to the air. And catch is pulled down. That was Dallas Burke pull, pulling down the catch. Calgary moves it up a little bit. It will be second and four. Ball is on the seven-yard line. Calgary lining up with receivers on the near side. Short little pass by Wasdall. And that will be, I think, just enough for a first down. Officials are marking it at the 11-yard line. So Calgary is able to, I believe, move the chains here. Oh, just short. And I think the officials will maybe call for a measure here. Chain gang runs out. Let's get an accurate measurement here and see whether or not Calgary was able to make it. And it's just enough for the first down. So, Calgary still deep in their own territory. Moves it up 10 yards. Well, I was still having a quick chat with his offensive line here. Three receivers to the wide open side. I was still in shotgun. One man in the backfield. The snap. A little high. Hands it off. And running play. Big hit. Jesse Kuntz trying to run it out there, but uh, wasn't able to make much headway. Good job by Saskatoon to force Calgary to a second down. Officials gave about one yard on the play there. Last on the shotgun formation again. Three receivers to the near side this time. The snap, looks like he's looking down, right down the middle, and he's got a reception. Good job, good job by Brandon McIsaac to pull that one in, and Calgary's able to move a little bit upfield.
Brandon McIsaac's numbers uh, for this season, quite impressive. 23 receptions, 320 yards, 13.9 yards per carry. That's good for second on the team. But the highest in yards per game, he averages 80 yards. So a big offensive we weapon for Calgary. Getting ramped up here. So a minute 13 left here in the first half. Hilltoppers still up by 10, 16-6 over Calgary. Last all, it will be second and five from his own 33-yard line. Officials having a uh, conversation on the uh, hash marks there. Will be an important time. Uh, look out for Calgary to try and make a, a real dent in this 10-point uh, deficit they're facing going into the first half. Bailey Wasdell has a, a decent core of receivers out there. Taking a look at their top receivers, we've already Brent mentioned Brandon McIsaac. We also have Dylan Minchell, who we've seen pull him in. Uh, he leads the team with 23 receptions for 237 yards. Jesse Koontz as well, number 18, or number 19, he has 18 receptions. So... We'll see if Lasdell goes to the air here. Second and five from his own 33. There's the snap. Looking under a little bit of pressure. Goes to the air, and he's got a receiver right at the 50-yard line, but pushed back a little bit. McIsaac with a great reception. Calgary has a big reception at a time that they needed it. Officials mark it at Calgary's own 49-yard line. One, one minute left to go in the first half. You can see Wasdell looking to the air again. He rolls out. Cox his arm back. Has a short little reception there. And I think that's McIsaac again. Or Minchel. Nice little screen pass out of the backfield there. And Calgary moves it up again. So this drive has been... Uh, Quite productive, but they only have 47 seconds left to work here. Last all under shotgun again. Three receivers to the near short side. Hands it off when they go to the ground. Dylan Minchel with a little bit of a run. Move the ball up to uh, about the 40-yard line into uh, Saskatoon Hilltoppers territory. Clock ticking down here. Bailey Wasdall. Cox's his arm back, goes to the air, and just out of the reach of a receiver. That was Bennett Thompson. Lunged out to make that pass. Wasdall was under a little bit of pressure and had to get that ball away. The pass was right down the middle of the hash marks there. So it will be third... Third and six on the 41-yard line, and it looks like the offense is staying out there. They break huddle. Lasdall and the Colts are going for it. Down by 10. 30 seconds left to go. Flags fly. Lasdall's under pressure. Rolls out to the near side. Throws, and he's got a receiver downfield at the 30-yard line. Wrapped up. That's McIsaac pulling in the catch. But there's flags on the field, so we'll get an idea here as to whether or not that uh, play is going to come back. Holding or late hit, one or the other. Could be a holding or a late hit. No offside on the defense. Offside on the defense is the call. So with only 15 seconds left, Calgary should get first down here. Officials conferring with uh, a player from the Colts. And we'll get the call.
So Calgary declines the penalty. And Wasdall will get a fresh set of downs, but only 15 seconds to work with. Ball is on the 29-yard line of the toppers. Wasdall with the snap. Looking to the air, plants his feet, throws, has a reception. Number 85, Nathan Hillier. So a short little pass there. Doesn't go for much yardage, but there is a flag on the play. Like we mentioned, Calgary's one of the most penalized teams in the Prairie Conference here. I take a minute to figure out the penalties. If you want to visit Vagabond, I'd like to remind everyone in attendance that when you present your game ticket for next week's home game at, uh, or this week's home game at Vagabond on Olympic Way Southeast, you receive 15% off your entire tab. For all away games, come down and watch the game live or enjoy happy hour pricing for all Colts fans. So six seconds remain on the play clock here. Ten yard penalty against Calgary. So that will push Wasdall and the Colts offense back to the 39-yard line. First and 20. Second, six seconds left. Wasdall has one man in the backfield. Runs back. And he's going to take it himself. Try and run up. And just a gain of about two under all sorts of pressure. But there's one second remaining. So it should be one more play left here. And that will force the uh, field goal team. It's a little bit of a, a longer kick here. Calgary special teams field goals only uh, batting 500. Two for four. This is a long kick. Jaden Sheelian will be kicking it off from his 44-yard line. The kick, it's up. And... It's good! Just gets over the crossbar. And Calgary's able to put a little bit of a dent there as the first half finishes. at 16. The score right now at the end of the first half, 16 for Saskatoon Toppers, Hill Toppers, and 9 for the Calgary Colts. We're going to take a break here during halftime. We will be back uh, as soon as the uh, second half returns.